Kathleen Kennedy has made a reappearance. But why? What is the reason? When we last heard about Kathleen after all her, shall I say, rants and insults towards the fans because of the negativity that The Last Jedi got, she took a hiatus. People thought she was going to get fired from Disney or let go, and they rehired her because basically no one wanted her job. Now, J.J. Abrams was offered the position, but what he wants is a ton of money. And probably to support his company. But they didn't replace Kathleen, they rehired her and gave her a three year contract towards the end of 2018. We didn't hear from Kenny basically at all. I mean, she was in, a, talked about Darth Vader Immortal, which is a virtual reality game coming out this year. But that was it. And I think the only other time I heard from her was at the end of Episodes 9 shooting when they closed up the film and she gave a gift to someone, to uh, the guy who plays Chewbacca, Jonas. That was it. But now, with Episode 9 panel coming out to Star Wars Celebration on April 11th, or is it April 12th? forget the date exactly. The panel's coming on Friday, I believe it's the 11th. And with that panel coming, Kathleen Kennedy's gonna be part of the episode nine panel. Now keep in mind, she didn't really have any control of episode nine. It was all up to JJ to try and fix the mess that Star Wars is in right now. Now can he fix the entire mess? Probably not. He probably can't fix everything. But maybe he fixed a few things, maybe he, all the questions we had that he set up, maybe he's able to answer them. So Kennedy had to say this about episode 9. She said, Kennedy had been talking about what will come after episode 9. She revealed the character she expects to feature at the forefront of the next 10 years of Star Wars movies following episode 9. Kennedy said, we're sitting down now and we're talking about the next 10 years of Star Wars. And we are looking at, at the narrative where that might go. Future stories beyond episode 9 with these new characters. Now, this is very important, so I'm going to say this quite slowly. Future stories behind episode 9 with these new characters, Ray, Poe, Finn, and BB-8. The possibilities are endless. End quote. If Star Wars episode 9 ends the Skywalker saga, which it is, according to Oscar Isaac, who plays Poe Dameron, he said, this is the end of the Skywalker Saga. So if it ends at episode 9, but Rey is expected to be featured in more films, there is only one conclusion we can get from this, is that Rey survives episode 9, as does Poe and Finn and BB-8, and Kylo Ren does not. Doesn't mention the original trilogies either. Doesn't say anything about Chewbacca or C-3PO or R2-D2. So what this tells me that Kathleen Kenny said is basically, she said with the new characters of Rey, Poe, Finn, and BB-8, the possibilities are endless. Meaning that they plan on focusing on their characters, the new and the future of the next 10 years of Star Wars, that using their characters, that the possibilities are endless. I think the possibilities are endless with their characters and original trilogy and prequel characters and the EU 
they can make it endless with everything. I don't see it being endless with Poe, Ray, or Finn, or BB-8 at all, since most people don't even care about those characters. And I'm just stating facts. Now, some people do. I'm not saying every one of us. But mo the majority of people do not care about Ray, about Poe, about Finn, and about BB-8. They may like, I mean, I like BB-8. I got nothing wrong with him. But I can't see a movie based solely on BB-8. That seems crazy. A, a TV series? Maybe you could put him in a TV series and some adventures he has, I guess. But a whole movie? I don't see that. I don't know if the possibilities are endless because I'm not sure that the fans are going to care. And if the fans don't care, like Solo, are they going to continue to make movies if the fans don't care about it? I don't think so. The bottom line here is it looks like this is the end of Kylo Ren. This is the end of the Skywalker series. Saga, the whole thing, it's over with at episode 9. Now, before you say, well, raise a Skywalker, well, if she was, then they wouldn't be talking about her future. Kylo Ren is a Skywalker because Leia Organa was Luke's sister, Luke Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker was their father. Does Leia die in this movie? Most likely. Does Kylo Ren die in this movie? Most likely. It's the end. It's the end as we know it and we either accept it or we don't. You know, I was once told all good things come to an end. They do. This is why I'm so curious to see episode 9 more than excited. Normally I would be excited and pumped up, I couldn't wait. But I don't feel that way, I feel more... more curious as to what happens and how he ends it and if he puts it all together and if he saves it. It's more curiosity. So you let me know what you think about what Kathleen Candy said in the comment section below about the future being Ray, Poe, Finn, and BB-8. If we read into it, is this the end of Kylo Ren since he's a Skywalker? This is the end of Princess Leia, Organa, General Organa. You tell me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time on Everything Star Wars. And why Kennedy is back when she has nothing to do with Night, I really have no dang clue. Because I certainly don't want her back. And I'm sure a lot of people don't either. Take care, everyone.